Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this uh, Monday, December 7th. I'm so glad that you could join me for Compline this evening. Once again, I will share my screen and you can follow along our service. I invite you to pray all the congregational responses that are in bold. And now let us begin our time together in worship by pausing for just a few moments of holy silence. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 31. You can either read responsibly by half verse after the asterisks. You can read in unison with me, or you can allow me to read the psalm for you. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Luke. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance, as a fulfillment of all that is written. Woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on earth, distress among nations confused by the roaring of the seas and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads. Because your redemption is drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day, your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section below. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant you all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories that put them in danger with little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them all, Lord Christ, from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our service concludes this evening with the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening for, uh, for excuse me, for Compline, right here from St. Stephen's. I invite you to join me again tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. God's peace be with you all this evening. I'll leave you with the candles as a meditative uh, practice. God's peace be with you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen. <laughs>